Can you guess what day it is? It is time to decorate for fall. I am so excited, you guys. I have been planning this for weeks. So I'm gonna be decorating today for fall. I pulled out my bins, they're all downstairs and I am gonna save the Halloween decor for October. So I'm not decorating for Halloween just yet. I don't have any Halloween decorations that I'm gonna put out. So it's just fall decor and it's going up today. So if you're ready for a cozy good time, just cozy on up with a cup of tea or coffee or something because it's gonna be really nice. It's probably gonna be a longer video. I am also going to be baking a few things today as well. So I hope you're looking forward to it. Let's just get started. So as you guys see, I did have to put on a cozy show and my latest obsession is Charmed. I have just started watching the original Charmed. It is on Prime Video and I think I'm halfway through season two now. It is so nice and cozy and it's perfect for like witchy vibes, but also still like fall vibes. They're always wearing layered sweaters and stuff. And I feel like I'm getting such good fall outfit inspo from the episodes, but Anyways, while that was going, I decided to start on a little baked treat. So I was going to make these baked apple chips and let me tell you, this recipe did not work. <laughs> I think I needed to either let them go longer or have the heat up higher, but they were not chips. They were more like, I don't know, chewy apple rings, but they still smelled amazing and tasted really good. They just weren't the right texture. So besides actually decorating, this is my second favorite part of getting all the fall decor out. It's just going through everything that I have from years past. So a lot of this stuff I've been collecting for years and years, even since like I was in college, I've been collecting fall and Halloween decor. So I definitely have this stuff collected over the past, like I would say five years or so, but I did do a haul recently this year of some newer stuff. So you'll see that sprinkled in here as well as the stuff that I've had for years and years. But here's a little spread of what I'll be using in the living room. And I am so excited to decorate our brand new console table. So you'll see this is a new TV stand and we actually have a new TV coming in the mail very soon. And so it'll be pretty much a completed living room after that. And I'm really happy about that. We can finally say that the living room is complete on furniture and now decorating it just feels so right. And I want this to be a super, super cozy year. Another one of my favorite parts about decorating for fall is of course going through all my beautiful fall cups, tumblers, mugs, and everything in between for the fall and the Halloween time. So here's my little mug collection. I hope you guys enjoy this. What do you think? I think that I need one more fall mug maybe. <laughs> I'm on the lookout. I have enough Halloween. I think I'm good on that, but I would love to have one more just fall super cozy mug. Maybe a smaller one too, because all the ones that I have are huge. second baking attempt for the night. 
is these pumpkin cream cheese muffins and i swear to you i will definitely be making these at least like five times over this fall season because they were so yummy really good on macros too i think they're around like 200 calories each which is half of what starbucks is and these were so delicious and super easy so i just used a spice cake mix that i had from walmart along with a can of pumpkin puree and then i made the little cream cheese mixture with some cream cheese the egg yolk of one egg some sugar and some vanilla extract and it was so delicious these turned out amazing decorating and I just made a little pumpkin marshmallow coffee for the morning. I'm about to eat one of those pumpkin cream cheese muffins for breakfast and then we're gonna get started on some work and I'm gonna like decorate throughout the day as I can the rest of the house. I still want to do the cabinets up above the kitchen. I still want to do the bedroom so let's get going. <laughs> might be the cutest thing I've ever done for fall decor. Look at how cozy the kitchen looks now. Oh my goodness. But I definitely need to vacuum and clean off the counters because dust got everywhere. I am about to decorate the bedroom and I've laid out everything that I have left on the bed to decorate with. So let's go through what I've got. Here's what I'm thinking I'm gonna use in the bedroom. So I definitely wanna replace the pillows. I'm gonna be putting out this beautiful cream pumpkin pillow. And then this cutie, he's a little jack-o'-lantern, but he's neutral. So that's gonna go up on the bed. I have a couple of little signs. So I have this fall one. I've got this little guy. I know he's probably more Halloween, but I think he's still cute. Some extra pumpkins. I have this little votive candle holder with a fake candle in there. I have a candle holder from Bath & Body Works. I've got this little like scarf I might do something with, this blanket that's definitely gonna go on the bed, and then this beautiful string of white pumpkins that's definitely gonna go on the headboard. I have hooks from last year actually to connect them on the sides. To my apartment, I'm not asking for your thoughts. I'm just thinking out loud in the darkness Ooh, There's no point cause we both know Ooh, It is even better at night, you guys. Ignore the blue light though, that's a fly trap. That's down underneath the cabinets, which is really messing with the vibe, but look how pretty. I can see. 